close your eyes and try to settle in with your breath. Stay with the in-breath all the way in, with the out-breath all the way out, and then with the next breath, and then the next. Try to be consistent here. Develop the habits of someone who can depend on himself or herself. In other words, staying with something. Once you make up your mind you're going to stay here, you really do it. That way you become more reliable, both for yourself and for other people. And the Buddha talks about the self being its own mainstay. In other words, you have to learn how to rely on yourself, train your own mind, because nobody else can train it for you. But that doesn't mean you don't care about other people. Just leave them to look after themselves. Because you realize that we all live together in this world, and we need one another's help in various things. So what the Buddha recommends is that you learn the skills that make you a helpful person to others, too, so you can look after yourself to whatever extent you can, and primarily being able to look after your own mind. And as for the skills that are helpful around the house, helpful around the monastery, helpful around your job, try to master those skills, too, because the more you can contribute to the welfare of the group, the more they're likely to be able to pitch in, or willing to pitch in, when you meet up with trouble, and you find that there are things you can't do for yourself. So the Buddha wasn't saying to be selfish, he just said that your own best interest is best served also by looking after other people as you can. And then it's a combination of learning how to rely on yourself for your own internal needs and helping other people with their external needs. That's how you provide a safe place for yourself in this world. You know, the world is full of dangers. There's aging, illness, and death. You escape this danger, you meet up with another one, and death finally gets everybody in the end. So we have to learn how to protect ourselves from those dangers so that when aging comes, we don't suffer. Illness comes, we don't suffer. Even when death comes, we can learn how not to suffer from the death. Lift ourselves above these things. That's what it means to learn to depend on yourself. And as for helping other people when they're getting old or when they're getting sick or when they're dying, you do that as part of being a human being. Knowing that we all have to care for one another in things like this. That way we can live together. You don't create burdens for other people unnecessarily, and you're happy to help them with, other, with whatever burdens you can. Human life becomes a lot better when you take this attitude toward it.